March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and one survivor has made it his mission to promote the importance of screenings. Chaba Pop says a colonoscopy, albeit a late one, saved his life. Hi there. How are you doing? Hey, pretty good. Everything good? Pretty good. Chaba Pap is feeling good because he is now cancer free. Your, your blood tests do not show any evidence of, of cancer. Your great CDAs news. remain rock solid, low. Uh, Thank God. Getting... A year and a half ago, a reluctant Mr. Pap showed up here at West Broward Gastroenterology Implantation to see Dr. Gary Luckman. He needed a colonoscopy, but at 55 years old and with a family history of colon cancer, he was already five years behind schedule. I kept putting it up. I knew I got to do it around, you know, when I'm 50, and I kept putting it up, putting it up, and finally I got it done at 55, and it was late. I mean, not was right there, you know, I had a colon cancer. If I would have come around, you know, when I was 50, it was only the polyp, so it would have been a lot easier. But, so don't put it up, do it in time. So Mr. Papp's colon cancer was in this area, in the left side. Dr. Luckman That's says the colonoscopy is key in catching polyps the before they turn into cancer. It can mean the difference between life and death. So during this Colon Cancer Awareness Month, here are the facts Mr. Papp and Dr. Luckman want you to know. More people die of colon cancer in the U.S. than from either breast or prostate cancer. The risk is equal for men and women, and 1 in 20 people will be diagnosed with colon cancer in their lifetime. But it can be prevented and treated. Mr. Papp had surgery to remove the cancer a few days after his initial diagnosis. Yes, yes, I'm a cancer survivor. Thanks for him. Screen. It's very important. I, I keep telling since then everybody, all my friends, all my family, go and get it done. You never know, you know. This could save your life. Yes, it can. And Mr. Papp has a son in his late 20s because he has a family history. He'll need to be screened when he's anywhere from 40 to 45 years old. So you really need to talk to your doctor about this. If you've been putting off that all-important test, take this as your cue to schedule the appointment. For more information on the procedure, just visit our website, cbsmiami.com.